In this video, we're going to show you how to pour an 81 feet long driveway. Thank you for watching another one of our YouTube videos. So this is a pretty long driveway and we have some limited access on either side. So it's going to be one of our more challenging pours. Right here, we're just starting to clean up everything. We asked the um, one of the owners to open up the garage so that way we can have a, a pretty easy um, access point from the garage floor area. And we are utilizing a pump to pour this project. We have rebar at every 24 inches on center throughout the entire driveway. And uh, this is about almost like 16 feet wide. So uh, the owner's neighbor, um, they have a pretty large tree that is like really close to the property line. And uh, the tree made a, a lot of damage, you know, due to the roots and all that. It lifted up all of the surface. So the old driveway was really in rough shape. So we had to remove all of the concrete, get everything ready, set our forms. So as we start pouring the concrete, we have our screed board right there. So we're starting to pull the concrete back towards our direction. And then we have uh, several of our employees there with the come along rakes. They are uh, pulling the concrete, moving it around wherever needed. And uh, we're just guiding ourselves on, on the right side. We have a form board. On the left side right here, along the concrete foundation, we have some chalk line marks that we are uh, basing our level off of. So we pretty much float the um, area up against the house. And then from there, we're using that as a reference point for our screed board. So, and with the screed board, we, we run it in different directions. Like in this case, we're running it um, this way, but then we also run it the other way as well. And pretty much immediately after we pour the concrete, we run this bull float all over the surface. So um, that's one thing that we do right away. We just start um, just use, ut utilizing that uh, bull float everywhere. And uh, that pretty much uh, uh, evens out the concrete and fills in the areas and just gets the surface a little bit more ready. So... Um, and that's pretty much the process. We're gonna continue that all the way through. Uh, it looks like in this job, we poured about 20 yards or so. We had like two trucks full and we poured all of that today.
So there we just got finished pouring all of the concrete work. And uh, we're starting to run that bull float right here. We have an extra long pole. They actually come in sections so we, um, we connect several poles to it so that way we can have a really extended reach. And so we're going to make sure that that goes over all of the surface. Since we have a fence pretty much right along the concrete driveway edge, we have to just do our best to get into the fresh area. And we just got to work around it. As you see our worker right here, he's just kind of maneuvering over that overgrown bush right there. And uh, basically wanted to get on in as far as he could so that way he can run his edger tool that's what he's running there back and forth so he run his edger tool and then he has his hand float right there to float all of the edges so he's pretty much going to do this on on the entire edges we're going to run the edger um in all of the areas and so that way we can get that established get a nice clean edge everywhere and then from there we're just gonna continue to just wait for the concrete to dry a little bit more and then we're gonna get into the center and, and everywhere so we can just continue to work all of it After we finish prepping the surface, now we're able to apply the broom finish. So we basically have this special broom tool and we have, a, we have several poles attached to it. Since we have uh, very uh, limited access over here, we just gotta get to it from whatever, wherever we can. So we're just on one end and we just, put the broom all the way to the other end and we just start dragging it right here as we're pulling the broom we have to remove the poles so that way we can get to it all the way through and then we also have another little broom uh, a little hand broom that like this one right here so that helps us just kind of finish it off there make make sure that the that the finish goes all the way and we also run the broom along the edges like you see right there so that way the broom texture is mm -hmm. consistent even through the joints so that's pretty much the process from start to finish of how we poured this driveway with uh, difficult access we just have um, we just have to get to it you know from from the one end the one edge just being careful and uh, also from this end and just any way that we can we also have the slider tools that um, those are very helpful. We're able to, you know, get right into all of the concrete areas. And um, so there's always a, a possibility. And that's how it looks. The texture, you can see the broom finish 
all the way through really nice you see that all of that texture right there so that's how you get that end result so now we just got to do the rest we're just going to keep prepping the surface and then we're just going to broom it from this end all the way to the other so we hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel we're going to be uploading a lot more content every week of different pours that we do we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one may god bless you